Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, um, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, LXD clustering. So far in this uh, playlist we've seen three videos um, how to use, how to install and use LXD and how to uh, move containers between LXD machines. So this video is about setting up LXD in a cluster fashion. So we will be setting up multiple machines, uh, each running LXD instances, and we're going to set, up, uh, set them up as a cluster and manage them. So we can uh, launch containers and uh, from any of the machines, you, you will be able to access the containers and so on. So this will be part one. I want to break this video into two part uh, because it might be a bit lengthier if I do it in one video. So in this first video, we will set up the cluster and in the second video, we will uh, launch the containers and see how the networking and, uh, and other stuff works. Okay, so um, I'm in my uh, play directory. So I'm going to git clone my Vagrant uh, GitHub repository. I'll put a link to this uh, 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 GitHub repository in the description. So cd to Vagrant, Vagrant files. I'm going to cd to Ubuntu 18. And I'm going to edit my Vagrant file. I'm going to make it three nodes. So I'm going to launch three node cluster. So basically whenever you are deploying any form of cluster, uh, make it an odd number and uh, with a minimum count of three. Okay, so that's what they recommend. So when you set this as a cluster, so there will be one node which is a leader node and there will be other nodes. Okay, so if the leader node goes down and there will be election and then the other node will become a, a leader and so on. So all these nodes, the state of the LXD cluster will be stored in a SQLite database and the database will get replicated across all the nodes. So uh, I'm gonna start with the minimum recommended, which is three node, and I'm gonna change the um, memory to one gig, so that's more than enough. And the uh, VMs will be, the virtual machines will be named Ubuntu VM 01, 2, and 3, because this will go in a loop. And the IP address will be 172.42.42.101, 102, and 103, okay. Let's save this and bring all the containers up. So it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when all the three virtual machines are ready, okay? All right, so Vagrant up command completed. So I'm gonna log into each of these machines. Um, so I've got three tabs open here in my terminal. So in the first tab, let's log into Ubuntu VM01. And in the second tab, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM02. And in the third tab, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM03. Okay, so going back to VM01, we are logged in. So basically, we are going to install LXD using snap sudo snap install LXD. So let's go one by one. Let's first finish Ubuntu VM01 and then we go to. So basically, we first need to bootstrap the first node, and once that's done, we can add the additional nodes to the cluster. Okay. All right, so that's complete. I'm gonna add the Vagrant user to the LXD group. sudo g password minus a Vagrant to LXD, log out and log back in so that I don't have to prefix sudo to every single command. Okay, that's done. So now I can do LXD in it. So uh, the very first option it's asking is, do you want to set up LXD clustering? Yes, that's what this video is about. So type in yes. The name of this node in this cluster so by default it picks up the host name which is Ubuntu VM01 so we can uh, use that one. What IP address uh, or DNS name should be used to reach this node. So if you've got a DNS name for this machine if you've got a DNS setup then it's fine but in my case it's a vagrant virtual machine where we don't have any DNS setup or the ETC host file has not been updated or anything so I'm going to use the IP address. So by default, it picked up the first IP address of our virtual machines. So this is the uh, the one that Vagrant uses, host-only adapter, which is not routable. So we need to use the actual uh, private internet, private network interface IP address. So which is 172.42.42.101. So that's the IP address of this machine. Are you joining an existing cluster? No, so this is the first machine we are bootstrapping, so no. Set a password authentication on the cluster, yes. Trust password, so give it a password. So I'm gonna use the password admin. Do you want to configure a new local storage pool? Yes. Name of the storage backend to you. So I'm gonna use a directory as the backend. Do you want to configure a new remote storage pool? No. 
Would you like to connect MOS server? No. Would you like to uh, configure LXD to use an existing bridge or host interface? No, because I want to create a new uh, bridge. Would you like to create a new fan overlay network? Yes. What subnet should the fan? So let's uh, leave it as auto. Would you like yes? Yes. Okay, so that's all the information that you need to do the LXD in it on the first node. Okay, so LXC list. So make sure to choose uh, this option here. Would you like to configure LXD to use an existing bridge or host interface? Default is no, that's fine. And uh, the fan overlay network should be auto. That's all looking good. Okay, so that's all it's needed on the first machine. Let's go to our second machine. Um, so I need to be in the, the actual directory. Yes, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu VM02. Similarly, CD to Vagrant, Vagrant files, Ubuntu, Vagrant SSH Ubuntu 03. Okay, so back in here, so now we are in Ubuntu 02, the second node. Similarly, we're gonna install LXD, sudo snap install LXD. All right, the command completed. Let's add Vagrant user to the LXT group. sudo g password minus a, Vagrant LXT logout and log back in. And we're gonna do the LXT init command. Okay, so we usually do LXT init, but this time we're gonna be using sudo to do this because uh, when you're joining a node to an existing cluster, not a new cluster, if you're so we've got an existing cluster here. All right. So back in Ubuntu VM01, if I do LXC cluster list. So there we go. So that's the cluster. And you can see the machine we've got. It's just one machine at the moment. That's the bootstrap node, which we bootstrapped. That's the address. And it's listening on 8443. And the state is online, fully operational. So the moment in the cluster, we've got one node. We've got an existing cluster that we want to add these two nodes to. So back in Ubuntu VMO2, we need to be using sudo LXT in it. So give it give it a try without sudo and you will get an error. So sudo LXT in it. And we will be using uh, the same options, more or less the same options. So what would you like to do? LXT clustering? Yes. Name of the cluster, Ubuntu VMO2. That's fine. IP address of this machine is 172.42.42.102. Are you joining an existing cluster for this? Yes, because we already have a cluster. IP address of an existing cluster node. So an existing cluster node in our cluster, we only have Ubuntu VM01, and we need to specify the IP address of an existing node, which is Ubuntu VM01. Okay, so the IP address is 172.42.42.101. Yes. Cluster trust password. So that's the password that we said when we did LXD in it on the first node. So which is admin. All existing data is lost when joining a cluster continue because this is a brand new LXD environment. We don't have actually any data, but if this is an existing LXD uh, environment where you've created storage pools, network uh, settings and containers and so on, everything will be lost if you're trying to uh, use an existing LXD instance to join into a cluster. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, type in yes choose the local disk I'm gonna go with the default option okay so that's done so now if I do Alexi cluster list so I'm doing this from the second node Ubuntu VMO2 so if I do Alexi cluster list so now I can see there are two nodes in our cluster so back in Ubuntu VMO1 if I do Alexi cluster list you can basically run this command from any of the nodes in your cluster so you're gonna get the same um, output. So we have two nodes in the cluster. Let's uh, add the third node. sudo snap install lxd. All right, so that's done. sudo g password minus a vagrant and add that to the lxd group. Log out and log back in. And we're going to do the same setting that we did for Ubuntu VM02. sudo lxd init. 
So it takes few seconds uh, the very first time you do a LXD init command or if you do LXC, any LXC or LXD command, if you run it for the first time after installing LXD, it's going to take few seconds because it needs to start the LXD service. All right. So the LXD service is not enabled uh, to start automatically on boot. It's activated by socket. So if I go to Ubuntu VMO2 and do sudo systemctl status LXD, so LXD service is running and if you look at the status, it's not enabled, it's indirect, which means uh, it won't it won't be running when you start the machine, it will be activated when you hit the uh, socket. Okay, so let's go to Ubuntu VMO3. Uh, yes, we need to set up clustering, Ubuntu VMO3, name is fine, the IP address is 172.42.42.103. Are you joining an existing cluster? Yes, IP address of an existing node. So now you can either give Ubuntu VMO 1's IP address or Ubuntu VMO 2's IP address because we've got two nodes in the cluster. 172.42.42.101. Yes, password. Yes, default option. Okay, so now we've set up everything. So if I do LXE cluster list, so cool, so now we have three node LXD cluster running in three different machines. They're all fully operational and you can also do LXC cluster show any particular machine Ubuntu VM02 for example, it's going to give you the same details as this one here but in a, in a different format. Okay, so that's uh, about it uh, for this video and let's uh, continue the remaining in the next video. So give it a try, get your LXD cluster up and running before we uh, do more uh, hands-on about like starting the containers, dealing with the networks and so on. All right, so I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.